Capricorn. Welcome to your May general tarot reading with me. My name is Brooke. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Capricorn, sun rising, as well as your moon sign. Thank you so much to my new subscribers to my channel, as well as my existing subscribers. I really appreciate you. Also, check me out on Facebook, Nightbird Tarot, as well as Instagram, Nightbird Intuitive Tarot Readings. If you'd like to book, book a private reading with me, check out my website, the link below. I offer private videos as well as live readings, telephone or Skype. And I do readings for live readings right now, currently on Mondays, as I do have a real world outside job. Uh, but hopefully one day I won't have to have a real job and I can be a tarot reader full time. But anyway, at the moment, I have a real life job, so ta-da, so I'm only available to do readings on Mondays, live readings. Uh, throughout the week, I do have time to do the private readings, but to set time aside, it's uh, basically my, my only day off. So please check out my website, the description box below. And Capricorn, I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck for this month's reading. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. So let's jump right into it and see what's in store for you for the month of May. The first card that has appeared is the Queen of Cups. This is in your atmospheric elements position or it's crowning your reading for the month of May. Followed by the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Rods, the Three of Pentacles, And the lovers, interesting. So Capricorn, the Queen of Cups has shown up for Scorpio as well, but this was in the challenge position. So if you have Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising, or even know someone with Scorpio sun, check out that reading as well. She is showing up as a reason for the month of May. She's the ultimate mother archetype in the Tarot deck. Very nurturing, very imaginative, very feminine, very nurturing, very compassionate. She's in your theme for the month of May, Capricorn. This may be an actual mother figure in your lives. This also could be applicable for Capricorn women who are mothers. This also could be an older female water sign, Pisces, Scan Cancer, Scorpio. She may have prominence over events in the month of May for many of those that are watching. She also may be influences or characteristics of energies for the month of May for Capricorn in terms of unconditional love or, and or nurturing characteristics that need to be developed over events in the month of May as well. So just keep that in mind, the Queen of Cups. Out of your past potential energies for Capricorn, many of you may have, in the most recent past, coming out of April, experienced some form of regret or disappointment or final ending or perhaps betrayal or a period or a event where there could have been backstabbing for many as well. There was some form of regret or disappointment or final ending that has occurred for Capricorn coming out of the month of April. This is in your past potential energies position for Capricorn. You feel knocked down about something that has caused you much mental anguish and anxiety. This is also marking a time of final endings of something, but you're moving out of this. Okay, this is coming out of the past for Capricorn. This may be going back to where the unconditional love needs to be recognized, especially in relationships for Capricorn in the month of May. In the present potential energies position, we see the Eight of Rods. Much speed in communication is happening in travel as well. This is traditionally known as in the traditional tarot deck as the Arrows of Love. If things have been slow or languid or uh, 
kind of murky in terms of not hearing from someone or not receiving news or waiting on news to be received or waiting to hear from someone. This month, Capricorn may be on the receiving end of hearing back from someone, getting phone calls, emails, text messages. Some form of communication is very much on the horizon for Capricorn. This is news. This is travel, travel opportunities as well. Things are picking up speed in the month of May. This also may be communication in terms of loved ones coming from this painful event as well. There's some form of communication or something is really taking off after this event has occurred for many of those that are watching. So this is full steam ahead for Capricorn with events, especially in the month of May. Going forward in your challenge position, we see the Three of Pentacles, and this is very much about building the foundations in relationships, building the foundations in family, building the foundations when it comes to employment or career, and wanting to cultivate and work towards building the building blocks of something. The challenge is many of you still want to do this. However, it may have gotten cut off for you in some regard. Many of you may have also experienced a loss or may be experiencing loss in the month of May when it comes to uh, mothers or maternal types of energy. Many of you may also be looking back at your family history when it comes to your health of, for example, if your grandmother had breast cancer, your mother had breast cancer, and perhaps you have this genetic that the potentials may be there for you as well. That may be where the challenge is for many that are watching. Something in terms of history, something in terms of family history, something very connected to the mother or mother type energies. And also the unconditional love when it comes to being a mother, nurturing situations, having compassion. The challenge is many of you still want to build foundations in marriages, still want to build foundations in relationships, and many of you may find this month, in the month of May, this may be a challenge, especially if something has been taken place that has caused some form of painful event or painful ending. Now, in the outcome position for Capricorn, the lover's card has appeared. The lover's card has a duality to it. It's very much about passion. It's very much about uh, relationships. It's very much about um, feeling as if the person you're with is the one or is your soulmate. And also at the same time, this card can indicate for many a choice. There could be a choice for Capricorn, especially towards the end of the month, of crossroads, especially after some form of painful ending and communication is very swift in this. Many of you may also receive news of some form of painful event or painful ending with these two cards together as well. But some form of crossroads may lead Capricorn down a new path, especially towards the end of May. This also could be indicative with the lover's card for many that are watching. Traditionally, this card can signify a love triangle with more than one person However, I really get the sense for Capricorn, this is very much dealing with something to do with family history, mother, energy, and some form of crossroads may begin for those that are watching in terms of becoming a mother, in terms of building foundations with family, in terms of receiving news of pregnancy perhaps, or perhaps receiving news of a breakup in the family. This could run the gamut because this is a general reading. But ultimately, Capricorn will find themselves towards the end of May of having to make a decision, having to make a choice, especially when it comes to relationships as well. So much high passion, unconditional love needs to be cultivated in this situation, nurturing, compassion for Capricorn in the month of May. So Capricorn, I hope the message came to you loud and clear. Keep me posted. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great month and I'll speak to you soon.